We're back here looking at the million dollar project activity. In the last video, we looked at how to create some spreadsheets and how to use some formulas and how to do some sums with formulas. This one, we're going to look at how to do a graph. And so I'm in Microsoft Excel in uh, Windows XP, but again, this is pretty similar in a lot of different uh, spreadsheet programs. So I'm just going to show you how I'm going to use the graph wizard in this, uh, this version of Office. So, a real simple way to do some graphing is to click and drag and select everything you have and look for a wizard. There could be a, an item up at the top that says graphs or wizards or things like that. Um, in this version, there's a chart wizard there, that button. So I'm going to click on this, and it walks you through the different types of charts you can make. So if we did a column chart with all this data in here, we can see what uh, the sample would be. Uh, but you can see when you do that, obviously the bigger numbers are going to kind of rule the day when it comes to the chart. Um, I could just keep going through and um, add a title, an x-axis, a y-axis, and finish it off. And so I'll do that. So I'll just say sample, title, x-axis is costs. Well, it's not really cost per items. It's something to do with items. And this one could be cost or numbers. But here's the problem with that is that you've got a bunch of different data points representing a bunch of different things and doesn't really make all that much sense um, because this might actually be the total cost but the orange or sorry the uh, maroon one here is the number of items and the cost per item you can't even see because the uh, the scale is so wrong so what we want to do instead is sometimes just select one column and then select the other column to do the graph now the way you do that is you'd still click and drag one column and then on your keyboard, you're going to hold down Control and click and drag the other column. Now, if I click off it, it loses the selection. So click and drag, Control, click and drag. And so it's holding down Control and clicking and dragging. Now that I've selected these two columns, if I go back to the Chart Wizard and say, Make me a chart, it's going to look a lot better. So we're only looking at one item now, and it's the name on the x-axis and the total costs on the y-axis. Um, you could do that for the name of the item and the cost. You wouldn't have to do the control because they're right next to each other. You do the chart wizard. You can see what it looks like. Or again, you can do one and then control. Click and drag the other one. Chart wizard. I'm going to make a uh, column chart for this one, the costs, per, this is the total costs per item, category X is going to be the items, category Y is the cost in dollars. Next, the last step in these kind of chart wizards is where would you like to put it? If you create it as a new sheet, it will actually put it down here. It'll say chart one. So I want to pick that one. You could change the name here. Uh, we'll call it costs. and say finish. And this gives us our sheet and our chart. And now we have a nice chart that shows us some information. And if you click and just do some discovery on this, right click on it. There's a lot of different options that you can add in data, add types, uh, you can format the data series and give it some labels and say, oh, show me what the name is and what's the category name and the value. And you can see it adds a few things in there. And some of them you might want to take off, but do poke around and, uh, and see. Oops, not exactly sure what I did there. Format data series, what I want. So you take out the category name and you can see it drops something. Um, if you're going to print these, what I do suggest is if you double click on the background that's defaulted to gray, change it to none or white. It just saves you toner if you need to print that off. So that's a quick look at um, a simple way of doing some graphing, selecting and using a chart wizard of some kind in the program you're using um, to make some of your graphs. Lots of options on that and it's a fun one to let the kids do some discovery. Thanks again to Ruth Lee and her class for sharing uh, their information on the Million Dollar Project. And if you would like some help uh, around designing some of these things or the use of the computer labs, please do contact myself, Jared Bell, 
uh, or a coach, Tony Thompson, and we'd be happy to help you out.